what's up guys Nick's here um, so as you guys probably already know at the time of recording there's currently some server maintenance going down on the blessed servers so, and there's been a lot of problems with the optimization um, this was kind of my biggest fear but hey uh, what can you do anyway so I went in game and I basically just leveled up my character to um, to the point where he can get into the main city and I was just testing out the performance right the different settings and stuff and here's what I figured out uh, first of all shadows need to be turned off um, if you keep all of the other settings on max and just put shadows down to zero you get a pretty significant performance increase so um, for those people that are struggling to get frames get that done um, apart from that there is a big thing that you can do with the INE files um, for those people that are familiar with Terra um, you guys would know the INE fixes that you can do with uh, Unreal Engine 3 games and so there are a lot of changes that need to be made to specific INE files and these are basically all the changes that need to be made now the problem with all this is it takes too long right so what I've basically done is essentially completed all this for you guys apart from the data inputs which are variables so there are three things which are very important um, pool size now uh, inside the base engine INE file there's going to be a line saying pool size what this basically says is pool size is equivalent to the amount of GPU memory you have in megabytes so it's written here in this forum I'll link this in the description just in case so in my case I have 3 gigs so it would be 3072 I believe if you have 2 gigs of VRAM then it would be 2048 4 gigs 4096 um, it does suggest don't go above 4096 and the other thing that you would need to enter is the threaded shader compile threshold which is literally just equivalent to the amount of physical cores that your CPU has now this is physical cores it's not threads so if you have a i7 you still have to write down four cores since it's four cores and four threads uh, similarly if you have a uh, current generation i7 it would be 6 instead of 12 so there's 6 physical cores and 12 in total threads so this is core count not thread count and the other thing is the memory margin um, memory margin is kind of a iffy one I just left it at 276 apparently there's corresponding values to that but I didn't really mess around with it turns out this is exactly the one that you need for 3 gigs so it doesn't matter what this is apparently just keep it at 256 and all the stuff I've already done for you guys again these are applied in multiple lines so uh, I've kind of just gone through all of them and did the changes so hopefully that helps you guys out and I'll quickly just show you how to apply the changes now I'll upload this file um, I don't know somehow so you guys can download it and do this edit so this is how it's gonna work um, once you guys get the zip folder uh, this is exactly what you're gonna have inside it now what I want you to do is go to wherever you have installed bless online so in my case if you go into Steam bless online properties then you can go on to local files and you can go browse local file and here we go so this is where it has been installed um, this is the direct pathway so once you're in here you want to click on engine config and here are all the actual game files now I have created a backup folder called OG so if anything goes wrong all you have to do is copy these back into here uh, forget about the BL uh, engine don't worry about that yet I'm still working on that um, but these three are the ones that need to go in there so you guys won't have this file um, right here anyway so to apply the edits you want to go on to the edited files and and then just right click on the base engine INE file and open with notepad then you have this pop up now here 
you want to press Control F so it finds um, the specific line you're looking for and then you want to have this forum open as well at the same time so then you can go you can essentially just copy pool size and find it here and we want to go down again so here we go um, you want to go all the way here so see how it's highlighted for me I've already typed in my value um, but right here you just want to delete this and type in whatever corresponding VRAM value that you have so again 4 gigs will be 4096 2 gigs would be 2048 and you basically just go up like that but it is recommended you don't go above the 4 gig corresponding value and the next one you want to do it in the same fashion just copy it and this is the amount of CPU cores that you have so here as you can see let me scroll it up for me I have four cores so I've written four so type in whatever value you have here and then all you have to do is cancel out make sure you save it and then cancel out so then all your updated files should be in here and then it's just a matter of copying them and dragging them into dragging them into the actual folder and it says replace and as you can see you just go replace all files on this destination and there you go you're basically done so that should allow you guys to get a much better frame rate um, I was able to partially test this before the service went down um, I made I think half the changes to the INE files just to see how uh, effective they were and they were proven to be quite damn effective uh, I did get a pretty decent bump in performance where usually in the cities I'd be running around um, <laughs> with like really shitty frame rates even on um, even on the lower settings I was getting uh, pretty bad frame rates but now I can have everything cranked up to max um, apart from the shadows which I just tend to turn off um, again I haven't tested these files but they should be even better than what I had in my test so hopefully this helps you guys out oh and this will also change the FOV of the camera so uh, instead of having that weirdly angled um, camera in game you're gonna have a more centered camera and you're gonna have a bigger FOV as well so there's that and yeah um, hopefully this helps you guys out uh, let me know in the comments below how it goes and yeah uh, like if you like this video dislike if you didn't like it and I hope to see you guys in game. Peace.